Um, sh Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your blood brother, Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Romans, chapter 8, starting at verse 1. Romans, chapter 8, starting at verse 1, and I read. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Messiah Yeshua. The renewed, the renewed man, who walked not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let me read it again. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in the renewed man, who walked not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I read that to say this. In the renewed man, which one takes on by the new birth, according to Acts 2.38, which is repentance and water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of sins and the regeneration of one's soul and receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. You take on the renewed man. In the renewed man, you become insulated from any and all condemnation. You become defended from any and all condemnation. That if the moment you take on the renewed man, you walk in the light. You remain steadfast in Yahweh's commandments in the renewed man. If you're in the renewed man and you're walking in the light, you're walking in the word of truth, you become untouchable from any and all condemnation. You Take on the whole armor of Yahweh as written in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and have them done all the stand. So, in the renewed man, we become insulated from any and all condemnation. Because being in the renewed man, you are now reconciled unto Yahweh and sealed by Yahweh's Spirit through the indwelling and the immersion of the Holy Spirit baptism. So, I exhort in the minds you family examine yourself to see if you're in the renewed man have you been born again according to Acts 38 because those who are not in the renewed man those who have not been born again according to Acts 38 are not insulated from condemnation so those who teach the word of Yahweh but yet they're not in the renewed man the same judgment of condemnation you put out, it will return back into you again. Well, that cause. All true messengers must be in the renewed man, must be born again to be insulated, to be guarded from any and all condemnation. That you become untouchable from condemnation. Because you walk in the light. In the renewed man. Because in James. The wise structure us in James chapter 2. Chapter 3. My brethren be not many masters. Knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. So those brethren who have made themselves teachers of the word of Yahweh, if Yahweh didn't appoint you, you will be held accountable for every word that you so utter concerning the set apart scriptures. If you mishandle the scriptures and teach men the wrong application of scripture, You will be held accountable for deceiving 
that soul or souls. Therefore, your soul will be forfeit in the day of judgment, meaning you will inherit the lake of fire. It's written in Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 16. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. Now, in context, Yahweh made Ezekiel a watchman. So I have made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. When I say unto the wicked, you shall surely die. And you give him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from the wicked way. The same life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will acquire your hand. So those who have made themselves teachers of the word. And yet mishandle the scriptures. You are not giving warning unto those who hear you. And those souls who are not giving warning of the judgment that will come upon them, they will die in their sin. But the blood of that soul or soul will be required at the hand of the one that taught them. So your soul will be forfeit. If you teach false doctrine, you mishandle the word of Yahweh. And in mishandling the word of Yahweh, the souls that hear your false doctrine, your false teachings, and they will die in their iniquity, in their sins, but their blood will be required in your hands. For the cause, false teacher. For the cause, false apostles. For the cause, false elders and false deacons. I exhort and admonish you to repent of your false teachings. Of your deviations from the set apart scriptures. Because every word you teach that is in opposition to the word of Yahweh and you teach men that false doctrine and they die in their sin and their transgressions of the word of Yahweh, their blood will be required in your hand. And that means that Yahweh will hold you accountable and he will condemn your soul to the lake of fire. Every false teacher of Yehudi and Goim, Jew and Gentile, that have raised themselves up as messengers and teachers of the word of Yahweh, but yet they are either willingly or unwillingly mishandling the scriptures of truth. And they teach men that wrong application of the word of Yahweh. Those souls would die in their sin, but their blood would be required at your hand. For the cause in Jeremiah 23. Y'all yeah, gave instruction concerning the false prophets. Jeremiah 23 and verse 21. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and it caused my people to hear my words, then they shall have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. So these men that are out on their own, was Yahweh clear he had not sent them nor called them? He advised them if, they had, if these false messengers had stood in Yahweh's counsel and it caused my people to hear my word, then they shall have turned the people of Israel from the evil way and from the evil of the doings. But the fact that these men are not standing in Yahweh's counsel, they are causing the people 
of Israel to err and to continue in their error, in their sins, and to die in their sins, that the blood of those souls shall be required at the hands of those false messengers. So, ministers, fellow ministers in the Israelite community, examine yourself. Examine your teaching. Be sure that your teaching uh, is in harmony with the word of Yahweh. Be sure that you're not bringing a reproach and uh, a rejection of the word of Yahweh and the spirit of Yahweh by teaching false doctrine, by not right and divide the word of truth. Because in so doing, you bring condemnation upon your own soul. So I exhort and admonish Israelite ministers, Gentile ministers, examine yourself, examine your teachings. Make sure your teachings is in harmony with the word of Yahweh. Because Yahweh holds all his messages accountable for what they teach. And if we teach error unto souls and refuse to repent of the error and make correction, and those souls die in their transgression, that their blood will be held accountable at your hand. Oh Yahweh, I thank you for granting me the unction to speak forth your word of truth. To come forth again on your Shabbat day in boldness, humility, favor, to lift up your set apart and most exalted name. And to lift up the name of your appointed Messiah and soon coming King Yeshua of Nazareth by declaring your word. The same word that you moved him to preach and teach. I pray that whoso will that you would draw to hear this message, O Yahweh. That you demonstrate your power upon their hearts. Well to produce conversion a world to produce reprobation. Let your will be done in the hearts of those who will hear this message. This message. I thank you, O Yahweh. I exalt, I exalt glorify, and praise yourself for in Moses' name. So be it. So be it. Shabbat Shalom.